Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Monday, November the 28th, the year's 2021. Let's talk trading. Indicators, T-R-O plot. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. T-R-O plot is an oldie but goodie. I wrote the original TRO plot when I was coding on TradeStation because I figured out something there that you could input uh, functions to the indicator and so you could have one indicator that would plot whatever the heck you wanted. Unfortunately, can't do that with MT4. So what I did was I created the TRO plot indicator. This is a, this is like I said, this is a really, um, oldie but goodie if i remember correctly this is like a 2006 7 or 8 uh indicator and i've updated it so i will post the, the latest version out on crest like in the mother mt4 mother loads um area for you so here you can plot the open the high the low the close the pivot and the midpoint you can turn off the labels on and off and then you can choose which time frames you want to show somebody had said something about having an indicator that wasn't so cpu heavy or something and then somebody else wanted um i can't remember they were asking about multi time frame or something and then i remembered hey i've got tro plot out there and you can have a different color for each time frame i guess i could put in you could actually have a different line style but I just didn't do that at the time. Right now, you can just have one style, one width, but I could make it so you could do it for each time frame. So I might do that um, somewhere down the road. I don't really think it's that necessary. So right here, I've got it loaded up where you don't see M1 and M5, but you see everything else. And it just puts out, whoops, switched pairs accidentally. So here on the M30, you can see the different high-low lines. You can go to down to M1 and see what, what's happening. Here's H1 midpoint. One thing I don't have on here is the boxes. Uh, let me see here. I might have to put the boxes on just because I can. But we'll wait and see for that, too. But it's just really simple showing you the different levels. And right here, I've got it showing from one bar ago. So if we're looking at M15, you can see there's the high from one bar ago. There's the low from one bar ago. There's the midpoint, there's the pivot. You can turn some of these off. So like, let's turn off the pivot. And let's leave the rest on. So you can see here in this M15 bar, we cross the uh, midpoint. And I believe I have to go in and change these uh, these are, looks like they're displaying in points rather than pips at the moment. So I'll have to go in and change that. A lot, like I said, a lot has gone on since uh, I actually made this indicator in the uh, Forex world. But I think it's kind of a handy dandy indicator. It's one of those ones where um, you tee up. TRO HL5, I think, is superior to it, with the one exception that here you can specify multiple time frames. With HL5, you have to load it up multiple times. And those, uh, those lines just go all the way back. I, if I wanted to, I could maybe put them to that bar, but... I like to see the lines going all the way back. That way you can see the price action around the area 
that you're trading from. So I think that's about it on the TRO plot indicator. Um, I had, you can change that. You can change the line style to, obviously you can change the colors. So it just depends on how you like to see your chart. But for a simple plot indicator, it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with the charts. Okay, we filled the gap on the uh, pound, and we still have a bunch of gaps that haven't filled so far this week. We're 14 pips off the daily low, 62 off the daily high, and 31 pips below the open. Now uh, you can see we put in the yearly low on Friday. Still no inside bars to speak of. Well, we've got some pairs over 100 with the pound clocking in at 75 on the range. Got two, four, seven. We're at the top of the hour here. Okay, we're at the... Uh, got four hours left, I guess, in the trading day. Okay, green rats. Hopefully you got some cheese here. Even though all the biases are telling you it's short, you're in the uh, weekly uh, lower rat zone, or the, the rat zone is the, also the weekly lower, weekly upper, because this is the first day of the week. But we're way off the monthly low. So pivot, let's see, near S1, bias is long. That paid off. Looks like we took out the pivot. So we did take out today's pivot a couple of days ago or four or five days ago. We missed those pivots for the week. We did take it out. When those labels are gone, that means it's been taken out. And somebody asked me to post um, this template. So it's over on Crestlick and the MT4 mother loads. We are in the wick zone. Remember last night we weren't, but you can see in and out of the upper, in and out of the lower one time. On the scalper, right now we're putting in a three ball here at the top. And we have uh, six pushes. And we'll have to see what the breakout distance is right now. It says 1.7. It's going to have to recalculate. And you can see between this dynamic resistance, this dynamic report, <laughs> support, not report, but you can see it definitely retraced 50, retraced 61, retraced, what, 78. So nice retracements happening at the moment. And just once again, if you have the stomach to trade three ball to three ball, it, <coughs> you have to put your stop losses in. That's for sure.
price action simple chart. We broke out of the previous H1 high. Long trigger at 10, short at the double low. You can see the last hour we had a long trigger at 90, which paid off nicely. Looking at the range here, I don't know why I have M1 sitting there, but on the uh, H1, you can see smaller ranges. Just oscillating right around the 20 pips, plus or minus, what, about 4 to 6 pips. Last hour, only 14 pips. Also, somebody wanted this template. I posted this one also. But you have to remember, on these templates, um, you have to have all the indicators. Otherwise, it's, it's not going to work. Oh, speaking of which, somebody asked me a question about an indicator or how to fix something. They didn't send me a chart. They didn't send me the code. Guys, I'm good, but I'm not that good. So, fellow traders, if you want me to figure out what's wrong with something, you need to send me the something so I can see what you see. You know, whether it's a chart, whether it's the code, whether it's both. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'm shooting in the dark. <laughs> I'm handicapped if, if, you do, if you don't give me that. So, in the future, you know, I don't mind helping people out. But you have to help me help you by giving me, like I said, if you've got the source code, fire it over. That's the easiest way for me to figure it out. Then I can load it up on my computer and hopefully see what you see or see what you're doing wrong or see what's wrong with the indicator. Um, and just so you know, don't send me EX4 files. I won't load them on my machine. Call me paranoid, but I know what it's you know, these um, executables uh, can happen. They can be loaded with viruses. Yes, MT4 can be loaded with viruses. And that's why I send out source code. So you can compile it on your machine and know there's no virus in the code. And so right now we are in the lower WIC zone and the lower rat zone, and we made the low of the day one H1 bar ago. And you can see we came out of the ATR zone. Oh, I wanted to shout out, I think I have one or two new uh, Reddit uh, followers, so uh, thanks for joining up. I appreciate that, and if you want to give me karma, I appreciate that too. And back to looking at the TRO plot, as you can see, it's just a simple horizontal, horizontal line indicator, you know, trade with the candle color at the horizontal line or in the direction price is crossing the horizontal line. And usually all is well. Um, I saw something, I can't remember exactly where I saw it, but there was one trader that said when H1 matches D1, um, they trade in that direction for the long haul, but if they're in conflict, then they'll just, you know, take a pip or two. And that's not a bad, not a bad way to trade. So right now, um, you can see we had some nice movement on H1, but it was counter to D1. So you have to be careful. So fellow traders, I hope you have a profitable week this week. And when you sit down at your trading platform, always remember and never forget. It's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one, over and out.